Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to undervolt and potentially overclock your graphics card. This will work for Nvidia and AMD graphics cards. Let's go ahead and get into it. So you are going to need MSI Afterburner, which is the program you see here. Uh, this is how we're actually going to undervolt the card. And you want to have either a game or a synthetic benchmark to test your overclock slash undervolt. Uh, for this video, I'm using Unigen Heaven benchmark, which is free but you can use a video game if you like. Just make sure it's a game that uses a lot of GPU, uh, has at least like 90% GPU utilization, because it could be stable in that game, but if there's a game that takes more utilization, it could actually be unstable. That's why I like the synthetic benchmarks for this. So for this video, I'm gonna be using Unigen Heaven Benchmark, and this is the settings that I'm running for my 3090. So you want to launch it in windowed mode, that way that you can tap out of it and it still runs. Um, if you happen to put it in full screen mode, you can always go up here to settings and uncheck it from here. So now this is running a synthetic benchmark to where it's going to be stressing my graphics card. So what I like to do is bring up MSI Afterburner, which, oh, here it is while you have the game or a synthetic benchmark running. And you can actually go ahead and get started with the undervolt. Some people like to leave the graphics card here for about 20 minutes or so and let it get uh, to the max temperature. Uh, but for this tutorial, I'm just gonna go ahead and show you guys what I'm talking about. So there's two major things you wanna look for. The first thing is go to settings and then click on where it says unlock voltage monitoring and then hit okay and you'll start to see this number. Uh, the lower this number, the less power your card is gonna draw, which means cooler temps. And as you can see here, this one seems to be drawing about uh, around a thousand, a little less, a little more. And these clocks are kind of going all over the place because my card is heating up. So it's actually throttling down uh, due to like the GPU boost technology. So the first thing that I like to do is take this core clock and put negative 200 and then hit apply and then we can actually start to undervolt the card by going to this icon and now we're going to have the voltage slash frequency curve editor so for nvidia cards you actually want to start around 850 so down here is the voltages and then over here is the core clock or what some people call frequency so for NVIDIA cards, I would start around 850 and try to get around your actual boost clock of your card. So mine's actually clocked down pretty hard, but we did see where it was at like 1845. You can go here to 850 and then go to like 1845. And then what you want to do is after your 1845, you can hit apply and it should bring your clocks up with less voltage therefore the power draw is going to be less so your temperatures should go down a little bit and if your only goal was to undervolt this is simply all you have to do you can now in the video but if you want to overclock there is a few more things that you have to look at so now we have the uh, base clock on our card where we wanted it and we have the millivolts down but let's say if you wanted to undervolt so that you could say either around this number or a little bit over or a little bit under and actually get a better core clock, then how would you do that? So what I like to do is go back and reset everything, go to the core clock, put minus 200. And what you wanna do is you start at 850. It's like you can do this, for instance. So I go to like 845. And you actually want to hit L here. It'll lock this voltage so that you can start playing with some voltages. Like here, you can lock it around there. And then you can go up by one. And let's see if we can do like 1875. And we hit L, which will lock that in. And it looks like it didn't go up from here. So what I'll do now is click on the dot next to it, hit L and it'll lock it into a higher millivolt. Like right now, it should be at like 860, but you can see it hasn't really changed. So 
So go over one, lock it, apply. Uh, until you find one that will actually let you run that. Oh, so this actually went back down to 1845. So we want to bring this back up. It's a little tricky because sometimes it doesn't actually apply. Look right here, it's just bringing it back down. So if it is doing that, clear everything. Minus 200. Find a voltage higher than 850. So like maybe 875. Try to bump it up to have like a slight overclock, like maybe like eight, 1875. Not sure if that's what that was at before. As you can see here, it doesn't actually run 1875. So we're going to reset it. Go back here, minus 200. Uh, we're going to go close to 900 because I know this is where my card actually would do it. And you can actually try to push my card around 1890 or 1900. So as you can see here, um, it's, it's still doing like 1875, but it goes up to like 1890. So like right now, I'm having issues where I'm power or I'm actually thermal limited because it's almost near the 82 degree point that Nvidia cards will start downclocking. So here's where you want to make either a fan curve or what I suggest to do is put it to a pretty high fan speed that would be almost uncomfortable but you know enough to where it's actually spinning and leave it there while you're trying to overclock and then later you can go in and put the fan curves how you want it. Um, but of course I'm going to leave that for another video. So now that we're getting that temperature kind of down a little bit you can see that this number here will start to stabilize. So you just kind of want to mess with it and you can probably get a better overclock. Unfortunately, the 3090 that I have isn't the best when it comes to thermal performance. So I'm kind of limited around this uh, core clock, but I actually, actually have seen some people get some pretty massive overclocks and also dropping on voltage. So I'll show you guys the one that I found that works really well for my card. And it's at 900 uh, millivolts. And as you can see here, it runs around 1875 to 1890. And I actually have a custom fan curve, which will keep the temperatures down. And that's uh, actually what I found for this car that works pretty good. So once you get the core clock down, you can start trying to up your memory. And as long as your benchmark isn't showing artifacts or crashing, then you should be good to go. So that's pretty much how you undervolt your graphics card and also how you undervolt and overclock your graphics card. If you have any questions, be sure to leave them down below and I'll try to get to everybody. And thanks for watching guys, have a good one. See you later.